What is multiple myeloma? Well, if you've never heard the name before, then your first thought might be that it's just some random disease. And since only 0.76% of the United States population has it, you guessed right. However, calling it a disease is a too general description. It's more specifically a cancer, one that forms in a type of white blood cell called a plasma cell. Healthy plasma cells usually help you fight infections by making antibodies that recognize and attack germs. However, in multiple myeloma, cancerous plasma cells accumulate in the bone marrow and crowd out healthy blood cells. And rather than produce helpful antibodies, the cancer cells produce abnormal proteins that can cause complications. For certain types of cancer, risk factors are known for most cases. For example, smoking causes most lung cancers. This provides an opportunity for prevention. For other cancers, such as cervical cancer, Precancers can be detected early by a screening test and treated before they develop into an invasive cancer. With multiple myeloma, few cases are linked to risk factors that can be avoided, so there is no known way to prevent it from developing. Even so, research is still being conducted to find a prevention for the disease. In appearance, myeloma doesn't usually cause a lump or tumor. Instead, it damages the bones and affects the production of healthy cells. As for the invisible signs of the cancer, in the early stages, myeloma may not cause any symptoms. It's often only suspected or diagnosed after a routine blood or urine test. Eventually, myeloma causes a wide range of problems, including a persistent dull ache or areas of tenderness in your bones, weak bones that break easily, tiredness, weakness, shortness of breath caused by anemia-repeated infections, kidney problems, although less commonly, bruising and unusual bleeding, such as frequent nosebleeds, bleeding gums, and heavy periods in women. There are six kinds of treatments for multiple myeloma. Targeted therapy uses drug treatments to focus on specific weaknesses present within cancer cells. By blocking these abnormalities, targeted drug treatments can cause cancer cells to die. Immunotherapy uses your immune system to fight cancer. Your body's disease-fighting immune system may not attack your cancer because the cancer cells produce proteins that can help them hide from the immune system cells. Immunotherapy works by interfering with that process. Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill cancer cells. The drugs kill fast-growing cells, including myeloma cells. Corticosteroid medications regulate the immune system to control inflammation in the body. They are also active against myeloma cells. A bone marrow transplant, also known as a stem cell transplant, is a procedure to replace your diseased bone marrow with healthy bone marrow. Radiation therapy uses high-powered energy beams from sources such as x-rays and protons to kill cancer cells. It may be used to quickly shrink myeloma cells in a specific area. For instance, when a collection of abnormal plasma cells form a tumor that's causing pain or destroying a bone. Fun fact, there are certain factors that determine how likely you are to get melanoma, like age, gender, and race, and if you combine them all, you'll find that elderly African American men are most at risk of developing the disease. Quick quiz.